it's Lisa from Lisa's Halls. How y'all doing? That was quick. I wasn't expecting it. I got to get used to this. I had to get a new phone, and guess what? I pressed that button and said it's time to start talking, and so there I am. <sighs> Hi, guys. How are you? What's going on? What's the haps? I wasn't ready for you guys yet. Apparently, the camera was ready for me. I didn't do anything with my hair except wash and fluff. Fluff. And wash, wash, and fluff, fluff, and wash. Um, little Lulu, a little crazy. Had two naps today. Yep, had two naps and have a doctor's appointment next Wednesday to find out why I have no stamina, why I'm always tired all the time, why I'm fatigued, why, 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 why. So, hopefully we'll get some answers. Because I just have not felt good since I got out of the hospital. So, we need to find out what's going on. Because I need to get back to... Being strong. I used to be so strong and just be able to lift anything and I was strong like a bull. Now I'm weak like a ant. I am. No lie. I, I think I th told you guys this before. I have a service window at work that I can lift up with one finger. I can barely lift it up with two hands. What's up with that? The hell did my stamina go? Where did my strength go? Where'd it go? I want it back. Who's got it? I want it back. Hand it over. I wish it was that easy. I wish we could just go blink like the genie and oh, voila. Oh, well. That's called life. I mean, things could be worse. I, I that could be, you know, things could be worse. We're just not going to go there. Okay? Okay. Anyways, I've... This is a, not the word I want to use. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. Lost it. Completely lost it. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I have a very small haul, but I have a some friend mail to share with you. So I thought I would just combine the two. Because it's low budget week and um, won't be doing a whole lot of hauling except for what I got. And that's just the way it is. So I'll have to come up with some creative things for you guys to see and do. Okay? Okay. I got a little sip of my pop. <sighs> like I haven't had enough caffeine. I got to show you guys something cute. I got this in a friend mail and I think I showed this to you. And I think it's so adorable. But look at this. See, my little owl. But well, look how cute Mike is. How handsome him is with our grandson. This is when our grandson Magoli was two. So this is about five years old. But look how handsome my hubs is. Isn't he handsome? He's a handsome fella. Back off, ladies. He's mine. Just kidding. I'd sell him for a price. Name your price. <laughs> I'm just going to get on here and go, what the hell? I'm being sold again? That woman's selling me every other week. You know, sometimes we just want to, don't we, girls? I think we'll do the friend mail first. Okay, so. I'm missing something here. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Ah, just a minute. Okay, so. I got a package yesterday from a Frankie Tortanisi. I just tore your last name up, girlfriend. You're going to have to, like, you know, do that little spell out for me because I just screwed your name up. And she was so sweet yesterday. And um, she sent me just the sweetest little pocket letter and a little note. And it's her first pocket letter, and she hopes that I, I like it, and it isn't too fancy. It's of our state of Michigan. And, you know, I've been, I wasn't born in Michigan. I was born in Wisconsin. But I might as well say I'm from Michigan completely because I left there when I was three. So we're just going to count it that I'm a Michigander all the way. Um, And I love Michigan. I can't imagine living in any other state. I know that we all probably say that about our own states, but Michigan is a great state. The only thing I don't like is I don't like our long winters. 
one thing I don't like about Michigan is our winters can be long. But, anyways, I want to show you what my friend Frankie sent me. And she sent me a Michigan. Isn't that cool? All about Michigan. And then we're going to flip it over. And she's so cute because she highlighted my area. She highlighted where I'm at. Can you guys, let me see if I can get this up real close. Did you see that? She highlighted where I'm at. Wyoming, Michigan. There I am. And she put all kinds of little goodies in there. And I thought that was so sweet. And Mike already took out the one thing that was in there. It was a uh, a wallet address book. He's going to put all of his um, passwords in there so he doesn't lose them. And then she made me a little Lisa's Halls. Uh, why am I losing it, kids? I don't know. It's not a tag. It's um, la 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 la. I don't know. So it was pretty cool. This is pretty sweet. I love this. I'm going to cherish this, Frankie. I think that you did a lovely, lovely job. Uh, she put Bay City in there because she knows my daughter's from Bay City. You're so sweet. So sweet. You did such a fabulous job. I really do appreciate this. I really, really do. You did an awesome job. So for your first box letter girlfriend, you did a great job. And in return, I'm going to make you one. So there you go. There you go, sister. All set. There we go. The whole kit and caboodle. Got to give me some time, though, because I've been crazy busy. I'll make you one. Do you want... Frankie, do you want a Halloween one, or do you want a Christmas one, or do you want a whatever one, or do you want a surprise? Let me know. Okay, so the next thing I got came from Lisa Chapel, and she sent me something that um, I wanted, and I was thrilled to get these because um, it's going to complete our little uh, ghoulish Halloween. So, she got us, well, first of all, she got us these. This guy's mouth opens. And Frankie Bones. Got me two of those. I thought that was really cool. And then she got me two of these. And I thought that was really cool. That Spooky. And then she got me. These are the coolest things. I love these things. Two of these. Got a tag in your face. Tag it and bag it, baby. Anyways, thank you so much, Lisa. I most certainly appreciate it. And yes, I love it. And I'm going to cherish it because it's going to go in my collection. Have a spooky Halloween. So awesome sauce. So excited. So excited. Got me a great pocket letter. I got me a ghoulish Halloween box. What more could a girl ask for? Awesome. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Just hanging out with you guys, I guess. I don't feel like doing it. If you got, nah, we're going to talk about it. We're just going to shut up while they shut up. It's good. Okay. If I can grab it. I can do it. Okay. So I told you this is going to be a very big long haul. So a repurchase, you already know this. We like to show them anyways. It's these lovely little wafer cookies. They're fabulous. I love them. It's probably why I gained so much weight back. You think? Then they shocked me by having these Keebler fudge peanut butter crunchy nut cookies. So I got two of them for the hubs. And the date on here is March 17th. Except, you know, 2017. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for a buck. 
So I picked that up so that the hubs can have something sweet because he was running around here last night. When I want something sweet, we didn't have anything. So. Okay. Next thing I purchased was a repurchase of my Mrs. Freshly's little donuts. I love these little things. They're just perfect little snackies. Love them. And then I like to snack on these in the evening when I'm doing my crafts because it's just a quick, easy little snacky poo for me to have. And last but not least, I was so excited about getting these tinsel stems because I'm working on a um, project that... Um, it's a paper, ultra paper bag with Miss Leah from my day-to-day -day life. So I'm using these. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. And so then there's another little Dollar Tree, not tree, but Dollar Store by me called the Village Dollar. And so I went in there and walked around today and I'm doing a pocket letter with, um, I think it's Ronnie C. Are we doing the alcohol one? Hell, I don't know. I, think. I was trying to collect some stuff. I haven't forgot. Anyway, so they had the Forever in Time. And I thought this was kind of cute. It's the little... Can you guys... I can even see this, can you? Okay, now you can see it. All right, so there we go. I have the little wine and the... Oh, the wine and uh, grapes and wine glasses. Then they have this 20 count felt scatters, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. Got those. Then this, I saw these and I thought of Jean Louise the Duchess. Because I don't know why, I just did. And it just cracks me up. But anyways, Jeannie, can you see it? We still can't see this. Hang on a second. There you go. Aren't <laughs> those darling? Love them. Love them. And then they have their own tape runner. I'm hoping this is a good one because if it is, then I'm going to go buy back and buy a whole bunch more. So they had one... Um, there by their brand, Forever in Time. And I do like the Forever in Time brand. They are based out of Ont Ottawa, Canada. And then last but not least, I thought this was another good one. I really, really like this. I'm going to take this tag off only because I want to be able to see the whole thing. And this is a dollar twenty nine, and it's got thank you. There's always a reason to smile. Home sweet home. Scent with love. You are my sunshine. I love you. You are my happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Thank you for you. Love. Seize the day. Life is beautiful. Be brave. Be happy. Just for you. All you need is love and thinking of you. There's always a reason to smile. Thank you. Joy. Miss you. Thanks. I think I hit them all. So I thought that was a very good deal for a dollar twenty-nine to get all that. You know, I mean, really, that's just you can't you can't get stuff like that for that cheap. That's just incredible for me to get something like that. I'm just like, yep, I'm all about that life. Especially when you're doing pocket letters, you want something small and it's not too big. It just works out just perfect. So I was pretty happy with that. That's it, you guys. That's the whole kit and caboodle. That is it. Boy, my hair is doing a funky. I need to get a haircut. I know. Isn't that crazy? I need to get a haircut. I'm top heavy. Can you tell? So I need to get this thinned out a little bit. But it's growing, you guys. I'm almost so close to a ponytail. Well, not a really big ponytail, but I miss my hair. Oh, you guys, I miss doing my hair. This is going to sound crazy. I used to, you guys watch my videos. Why am I telling you this? I used to curl it all up and then twist it up and put it in a clip. But I liked it that way. You know, because I had to do that for work. And why am I playing with my hair on here? Do you guys like it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm a little 
jerk to your head. Mike's going to come home and go, what the hell did you do all day? I took two naps. I made a video. I talked to my peeps. I watched some YouTube videos. I, it's my day off. I didn't care. I got company coming at 7. I know this and my house is a mess. But I'll have it picked up in no time. I can fake it till I make it, baby. Yeah. I want somebody to come over to my house and get a hold of my craft area. It's a hot mess. Actually, I do have somebody coming hopefully next weekend. And her name's Gwen. I think I told you this guy is already in. Can't wait for her to come. Can't wait, can't wait. <sighs> She's going to go, what the hell is wrong with you, Lisa? <laughs> yeah, I have an addiction. I admit it. First step to a problem is to admit you have a problem. I have an addiction. It's called scrapbooking supplies. I need to. You know what? I'm going to have you guys hold me accountable. Okay. I have so much stuff that I really, really, really need to do either some giveaways or some friend mails or some racks or something. I need to get more out there. It's just expensive, I know. And that's kind of what's been holding us back. Um, but I want you guys to hold me accountable and say, Hey, Lisa, why don't you surprise us with something? I want you guys to do that. You know, at least, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, just, I don't know why I'm asking you guys this. I'm just saying you guys are my friends and I love you guys and I just need to get rid of some crap. Did I just say that? I did not <laughs> mean that. Stuff, lovely stuff, expensive stuff, good stuff. I mean, Dollar Tree stuff. I mean, that's what we do, right? And I am babbling on and on and on. And I keep going, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to end this conversation because I am just wound like a clock some reason so i love you guys thank you for being my friends and um i appreciate each and every one of you and i love hanging out with you guys you guys are really great awesome sauce and all that in between so with that being said i want you to like comment share subscribe down below i want you to remember it's snail mail because everybody likes getting something good in the mail size a damn bill i know i do do something good for yourself so that you can do something good for somebody else. And above all else, just be good. Have an awesome weekend. Do something fun. Get out there because it's supposed to be nice this weekend, at least in Michigan. Get to one of the orchards. Get yourself a honey crisp apple, a apple cider donut. I don't care. Do something like that. Go have some fun. Go find a corn maze. Go right through there. Burn some energy off, Lisa. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.